Hi, I'm Adrian and I will show you how to make uh, a fragmented character which is animated and skinned and also we will discuss about a method to make that uh, fragmentation uh, on a uh, to have a clean mesh so you will not see the fragments in our, our artifacts ok, so um, for this uh, example I will use a model downloaded from TurboSquid uh, a free model um, that you can get from here uh, also it has uh, some animation, bipod animation inside after you will download it you will have this arch archive zip archive and uh, let's add it to our scene ok, now let's delete what we don't need don't need hair in this example eyes One thing to know uh, when you uh, will be doing a vol uh, volume breaker, when you add uh, the volume breaker uh, modifier, is that your mesh uh, uh, will need to not have any holes in it. So for this, uh, we'll use a cap, we'll cap the holes. Uh, but before this we need to freeze the transformation so we will not get some weird results in animation and the finger particles will uh, use the geometry so to do this uh, we will uh, hold alt and right click when the model is selected and uh, we will freeze the transform Yes also we'll freeze the rotation then uh, I'll remove the turbo smooth and morpher so you see that she each has an editable body and an editable mesh the mesh is showing after the editable mesh so, so we'll convert it to editable body uh, then we'll go to uh, utilities. Sorry, mm, if I d I'm not reading correctly. Uh, then we'll go to. Uh, then we'll press the reset X form. Okay, reset selected. After that, we need to collapse the modifier stack because it will add an X form modifier. Convert to editable poly. Ok, now we see that the normals are inverted, so we'll select all, all the polygons and uh, Ctrl A to select all and uh, press flip. Ok, so we now see the mesh. Uh, also I'll switch to shading, shaded uh, viewport because I don't like the and I don't need the realistic now. Uh, now we need to cut the holes so let's press ctrl A to select the eyes and uh, press cap ok also so let's delete the teeth Uh, 
uh, you'll need to reskin uh, the character but uh, in this example it will work pretty well so we'll add the bones okay now let's add some animation to the bipid by selecting one part of the bipid go, go into motion panel here and uh, open what file okay so uh, it has some animations I will use the bullet one okay now you can see the animation this skin is not so good but Okay, let's improve it a little bit, just to have this part a little better. the volume breaker modifier so uh, first before adding the volume breaker uh, save a scene and make sure you don't have any holes because it will stuck we will make the 3D, 3ds max uh, hang and uh, okay let's do this Set edge, edge to face it, so we can see what happens. Uh, we need to increase the density. Uh, I'm not, I'll not talk about the volume breaker here because there are many tutorials on internet, on YouTube, also uh, documentation about each settings and what it can do. So uh, let's increase the density here. Also decrease the raster uh, size. You, you start to see some fragments. Okay, let's increase a little more. Okay, so let's increase this a little. Uh, don't go too low with raster because it will uh, calculate too much. It will take more time to make the calculation. Okay, uh, this uh, should be enough for this example. Uh, also, if you want to do something like Tron, there is it uh, fragmentation. Uh, you can use the um, bricks, uh, the bricks options because it will make uh, groups, frag fragments. Okay, 
can see the actually in this case I'll use the these options because it's more chaotical and we don't need so much uh, fragments to uh, to see something interesting because with um, with bricks uh, you have to have many uh, fragments to see to have a normal shaped fragment like a cu cube okay uh, the next step is to put the volume breaker um, under the skin this is important to add the skin first uh, because uh, okay it's not I don't think it's uh, it might not not be so important but uh, anyway do I'm doing in this order so you may want to do it uh, true so because skin is not uh, saving the uh, wages of the vertices in uh, in memory but it will recalculate based on the envelopes uh, this method will work be, uh, because the uh, volume breaker will have some vertices will generate some vertices inside the mesh uh, and the envelopes automatically will pick them uh, with physics um, sorry I don't uh, know how to read it correctly physics modifier uh, it may not wor work also on skin modifier uh, it may not work if uh, you will uh, select the, uh, will you will set the wages uh, manually by selecting vertices and uh, typing in values and so okay so we need to keep it proce procedural and okay let's put it below okay the next step is to create the um, you can see the animation is still good uh, is to create the thinning particles from the properties uh, I'll create two groups one group will be the base mesh and one will be fragments so First, uh, we'll create a, a dynamic set, and uh, in first dynamic set, we'll uh, convert the the uh, our animated animated mesh to particle uh, generator object to particle. Let's pick it. Set the set it to base mesh group, instant shape, and hide. Also, let's set the object to particle tracking and hide. Um, let's go to the master dynamic and uh, set the show mesh, so you can see the mesh in viewport. Ah, uh, one, th one more thing. We don't don't want to. Ah, I f forgot. We don't want to use the instant shape because we we will use the. This is important part uh, because we want to use the Jom instance. Uh, okay. Now let's create another dynamic set. Name it Jom. Uh, in this dynamic set we'll set vector mesh so it will update each frame shape jump instance so let's pick it 